afternoon and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. I'm Karen, we have the gorgeous Kim on today and Kim's going to be showing you, there she is, and Kim's going to be showing you how to make some beautiful, is it strappy sandals you're doing today? Not today. Not no, today. We're finishing off these we're two finished, last Look at these. So she's going to finish off some shoes. Exciting news. Have, have, we, um, have we got any hellos before I start telling about exciting news? A good, good, good afternoon, YouTubers. And the yeah. <laughs> yeah, they would be. I'll be back on comments. I am on comments today. Uh, I've just got me apron. I've been just been doing some baking this morning, so we're back on comments today. So, uh, just a quick one before I tell the exciting news. Kim's on doing these shoes with you today now, and then at half past four approximately half past four we're going to go live again with carol for a very quick live showing you swiss meringue buttercream onto the a cake using the ganashing kits again she wants to do this for you so it's got plenty of time to set so she can come back tonight on the live and she's going to decorate it um using i think it's it is it uh using the carrot the Katie, Katie Sue Mould, and then she's going to be showing you Lissy Lou again. So she wants to show you the cake first, so she can uh, buttercream, Swiss meringue buttercream the cake for you, and then come back tonight on the live and decorate it all up. So that's going to be a really good live. So make sure you come back at half past four to see the first part, and then come back at eight o'clock to see the finished part. Right, um, shoe kits. You've all been asking for shoe kits. Well, Carol is having some made under the S&C brand. They will be in an approximately four weeks. So isn't that great news? And they're gonna be slightly cheaper. They are gonna be slightly cheaper than what the New York one is. That's my oven, can you just give it a... <laughs> That's my oven. Um, so they're gonna be slightly cheaper than the ones we have on the site already, but we're gonna do them under the S&C brand. So that is really exciting news. Our own shoe kits are gonna be coming out. Um, we have whoop whoop. Whoop whoop, yeah, and whoop whoop, definitely whoop whoop. And also tonight, you won't want to miss tonight's live. Carol has got some more giveaways. Now, I'm not going to tell you what they are because it's a surprise. But she has got some giveaways for you tonight, so make sure you tune in at 8 to watch her because there's going to be some great prizes being given away. And on that note, I'm going to go and get my cakes out of the oven and then run round to the iPad and take that off Terry and then we'll carry <laughs> on. We'll carry on then with the... Um... Everyone's just busy celebrating right now about the giveaways. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much, Carol. <laughs> you, love, you love giveaways, don't you, ladies? So on that note, Kim... Over to you. Right. Good afternoon, ladies and gents, if there are any gents with us. I think that's yours, Carol. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Right. I hope you watched the other night when we made these so that you know what, I'm, what I've done and what I've got to do. But before we start, I want to try... I'm trying something different today. I'm trying some impression mats. <clears throat> and we've got some, we've got the new PME impression mats here. Let me move these out of the way and then I can show you. The ones I will be using are the Bold Zebra. Hold on. Can you see it? I think you can, can't yeah. you just? The Bold Zebra, which I will be using on the square toed shoe. And the Elegant Wave which I'll be using on the other shoe. I'll show you the others that Carol's now got in stock. We have the barley design, which is it's difficult getting. Can you? So it's oh, towards you again. There. That's it, that's better. Yeah, that's the barley design. The polka dot design, which is really quite nice. And we have the swirl. Which I think, so. oh, I like that it's one. That's cute. Lovely. Yeah, <laughs> it is nice. The snowflake. So that would be, that'd be nice for, for lots of different cakes, really. Especially the um, frozen cakes. Frozen oh, cakes. That's the yeah. one. Yeah, frozen yeah. cakes. I'm here for your work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carol will speak for me when I'm, when I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. Uh, the next one is the floral design, which is quite nice. And this one, now if I hadn't already made my uh, my shoes, 
I was told that I had to use this honeycomb design and come up with something with that but I haven't got a shoe that's ready in the right colour so I might have to do that at a later date and what's well, Jenny's not, Jenny Moore has got all these on her wish list oh, small squares and these are very reasonably priced how much are they? they're £1.55 I'm just checking now on our website I'm really sure they're one pound fifty-five. They are. they are a very good price and this is the bark design and they're a good size as well so uh, they will they will be quite you know, they'll be tall enough to go around a cake no problem and the last one is the classic dot yep yeah, they are one pound fifty five one pound fifty five that is a real bargain for oh, the size of these mats and we've seen them come out and uh, claire actually used a couple on the uh, uh, they are on uh, yesterday and they're absolutely super. Hold on. you can go to go to the full camera and then i'll show they are sort of that big so so i've got a big hello to petronella september she's in south africa watching us oh so hello, lovely beautiful place love south africa and also we have a birthday girl on here oh. we've got our jackie mcmin on here and happy 50th birthday today Woo. jackie congratulations. congratulations and you're gonna get it twice because i hope you join in again tonight so you ready the girls yeah happy, happy birthday, birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear jackie happy birthday to you whoop, whoop. <laughs> brilliant so as i just said before uh, kim uh, kim cracks on uh, the giveaway tonight, the ladies are asking about the giveaway tonight. Carol has just got some giveaways for you. It's a surprise, so tune in at 8 and Carol will be letting you know then what the giveaways are. Right, we're going to... Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you join we, we, we knew you wouldn't be able to stay away. Eh? We we'll do it again tonight for her. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, well, ladies, and I'm just going to put this into the camera site now with Kim. Look what the gorgeous Carol has sourced for you. The PME Cake Steamer. 26.99. And Kim's going to use hers today. I am. And they and you say that they really are a must, aren't they, with your shoes? Yeah, and it's not just for shoes, it's for cakes. If yeah. you get corn flour on your cakes and you're doing yeah. a dark coloured cake, then it just... Yeah. Just takes oh, it off, appears, it? Yeah, it's they're brilliant. Yeah, I love mine. I use it all the time. So oh, look at those. So they're going on. The, I think they're doing, if they're on the website now, well, they're actually going on the website. But the twenty six ninety nine, and it's the PME cake steamer. And Jackie will be back with you tonight, ladies. So don't forget Kim tonight. Big shout out for Jackie again. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Well, you, oh, it's a big don't place, forget. Nice, you, you talk. Oh, you talk. You, you oh, talk yeah, it to me. I'm about to send you a message. On that. <laughs> <laughs> My phone won't be on. <laughs> You're just <disgusting>. You're <laughs> oh, there's a few people got steamers here, and they absolutely love the steamers. They are. They are. Yeah, definitely uh, worth it. Hi to Pat Rosa. It's after midnight in Australia, so she hopes she can stay awake with you. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, South Africa is the same time as us, isn't it? So, is it? Other is, no, uh, is there an hour difference? There's about an hour difference in South yeah. Africa, but it, in Australia, yeah, it's after midnight. Oh, yeah. good grief! Right, before we start, I've got to tell you, I've got permission from Carol. Carol confirmed that yes, I can use my pizza cutter on this grey board. It's a, tell them, lift it up, it's a small board, it's not the big board. It's a small board. It's a small board. <laughs> so I'm going, to, I'm going to behave myself today, even though it was okay, but I got permission, I asked. We do so, cut a lot on the small boards because yeah. it's what we do for flower, you know, for flower cutting. Yeah. It's just our big boards we like to protect. No. Even, I know, and they're there, aren't they? Yeah. So <laughs> we're going to roll this out. I I think I'll do, I'll do the square shoe first and I'm going to do it with the zebra. I know this isn't a zebra colour but what I'm going to do is I'm going to... It's a take on it though isn't it? It's great because you just don't get black and white zebra shoes in the shops anymore. You get like all different colours. Yeah, all different stripes, colours. Yeah. Well what I'm going to do with this is actually once I've done the imprint, I've forgotten again. In, in, you're doing the you're doing the imprint and the prominent. 
Yes, one side of the prominent because you can use it for imprinting for the... I've, done, I've, lost, it, I've lost it. You can well, you use can... it for, for a prominent pattern and for a an imprinted, imprinted pattern. pattern. It's, been a long, it's been a long week here. It has been a long week. I've and been in here since half past seven this morning. So. And Leslie's, Leslie Green's taking you to Tesco now. Taking me to Tesco? <laughs> yeah, because she's, she's got to go to Tesco, so the lives are going to Tesco with her. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, that'd be interesting. Hi, Tesco. <laughs> right, I've actually, I've been working this morning to try and get another so, uh, front sh for my shoe, the right size, because with it being square toe, it's a lot, uh, it's a lot bigger than the, the one that comes in the kit. So, I've designed my own little piece and I just hope it works. I know, I came in this morning, there she is, beavering away. Do it. She had all the template, yes, that so. piece of paper, scissors. Yeah. yeah, so you do it with the, the pattern side up, so... And with it being gum paste, it takes a little while longer to actually get the, yeah, get the pattern come through. So it's a bit of brute force, I'm afraid. I'm just hoping that it looks good when it's done because I'm going to colour it once it's done, colour the pattern in a beautiful gold. Ooh. So we've got latte and gold. That's gorgeous together, that. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. And you can actually see, if you look, you can actually see the pattern. Or you can see the gum paste coming through to the top of the pattern so you've got an idea as to whether you've pressed on hard enough. So, let's have a little look. Oh, that's not quite there. If you're using ordinary um, flour paste, uh, sugar paste then it's easier, it's a lot easier it comes. It's not as, uh, not as dense is it so it's softer. So the rolling pin that Kim oh. there, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a prototype <laughs> yesterday that Claire was using in the class to see how they were and it's great it's a non-stick rolling pin and Carol's put an order in for these in grey because they don't come in the pink we can get them in the grey so they're going to complement the light grey boards and the pink boards and the it's the same it's actually the same material yeah. so it's non-stick it's the same material as your as your boards. And they're great to use, aren't they, Kim? Oh, yeah. It's lovely. Very tight now. The A Nikki King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I turned yeah. the live on at the wrong section yesterday. I know. <laughs> I remember what was going off yesterday. There were a lot of blushing yesterday, I tell you. There's a few people, Kim, have got steamers and never took them out of the box. Oh, no. <laughs> You've got to use them. You can use, you can even use them for steaming your clothes, which is sometimes easier than ironing. Yeah. I don't think I have them. I, um, I just hang my clothes up. I never. I, don't. <laughs> I buy. I buy non-iron things. Yes, yeah, same. <laughs> yeah. That's the best way to go. Right. I think that should be Look okay. That. That's oh. gorgeous. And it does show up quite well, doesn't it? Uh, excuse me again. She's dinging, ladies. Gentlemen, <laughs> everybody. Right, so let's find the best bit. I think we'll go with that. <laughs> the thing that caused all the trouble the other night. Naughty, naughty. Yeah. But I'm not naughty today, I'm being very, very good. <laughs> yeah. I've been told I can. Now you can you can do your imprint first, or you can cut out your pattern and do your imprint then afterwards. I've just done the imprint first. Jackie Adams says she stopped ironing. Her body heat takes the creases out. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all hot stuff, aren't we? Yeah. Definitely all hot stuff. Yeah, just neaten it 
bottle. My fingers crossed. But it works because I work really, really hard on this. No, it doesn't look much, but uh, getting it right is... And there'll be, in the in the new kits, so there will be patterns for the square toe shoe. So it's, uh, you'll have quite a few options. That'd be good, that won't it? Because like, they, can, they can choose the style of shoe they really want to do then. Yeah, yeah. I do like the square toed shoe. It gives your feet more room. Well, I think it's because I've got wide feet, it's mm. not chubby feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> affectionately known as affectionately known as chubby feet. <laughs> that was my that was hilarious. Yeah, so but I mean I must admit I do like a wide toed sandal and every time that I tend to try and go for when for summer that I'll try and look for sandals that are wide toed like yeah. that. No, the square toe. Yeah. Love them. Mm. Well, I've still got some that were in fashion the last time. So, what I do is I pinch the sides just so it's a little thinner. So, carefully pinch the sides to make it a little thinner. That'll look lovely colour, uh, painted that way. Right, we are right. I need some glue. Carrie, I can't answer your question today. I'll have to get Carol to answer that for you about getting the pattern separate for those who've already got kits. Um, I don't know if she's going to, I don't know if you can get copies from us. I'll have to ask her so she could reiterate it tonight on the live. Yeah, well, I think, I think they are. I think if you let them know with your order number, then they'll... Uh, the, they photocopied some and they're going to uh, email anybody who's got the kits who've, who've ordered and haven't got the the new ones so a little bit of glue so yeah we're on tonight and we're also on at fourth we're on to we're on tonight jack um kit um at eight o'clock with carol with carol but Carol's going to come do a quick live at 4.30 this afternoon. She's going to be doing Swiss Meringue Buttercream and covering the kit using the ganaching kit again. And so she can show you how to do that. And that's going to go and um, be setting, ready to be decorated on the live tonight. So if you want to look at the ganaching kits again, come back at 4.30 and watch Carol ganaching a kit with Swiss Meringue Buttercream. Right. I think you could get away with doing it slightly thinner than this but I did a I did quite a thick one because I didn't know how much it's all trial and error for me at the moment so like anybody who's starting a new shoe and then you just make sure it's down to to the ground down to the bottom of the the sole when when you actually finish your your sole and your heel and you've got it all attached then if you wait until it's dry really well you can you can actually do it while it's while it's still not set properly but it is vulnerable and you can't take it away from your your, your former but if you have it completely dry you can carefully take it away and check that it's attached properly. It takes, a, it takes a little while for the glue to start working and for it to stick. So Sheila's asking, Sheila Harvey, what shoe mold is it that you're using? This is the uh, New York. Is that the New York one? Yeah, this, this is the, the one. New... Yeah, the we New are York out of one. stock of the New York one, but Sheila, you'll have this exciting new to beginning that Carol has actually, uh, we're having our own uh, shoe kit made under the SNC brand, and that will be available in approximately four weeks. Somebody's dinging again. It smells delicious in here, ladies. And gentlemen, I keep saying ladies. <laughs> I know gentlemen watch as well. So that's your hold on, I'll turn it, I'll turn it that way. That's the front of your shoulder. 
And remember, if you've got any imperfections, you can use sanding paper or the stuff that I use, which I can't remember the name of, where the bits don't actually come off and it doesn't clog up. It's more like a mesh, which is uh, which is really really good. So that's the sole. No, it's not. That's the uh, the front. And now to do the back, which is that pattern. I'm only doing a small bike because it's supposed to be a nice summer sandal. So move that there. Margaret, I don't know if it's going to be both sides of the shoe. Carol, we'll to update you more tonight. She just told you, just before we went live, she told me the exciting news that we are going to be developing our own shoe kit. Either way, it'll be great. Oh, and I've got to explain when when I when I was under uh, when I was on the other night, my husband was super critical and told me all the things that I'd done wrong, and he said that I was confusing people because I got several different shoe formers. Well, you've got to remember I've been doing it a long time, and I do several shoes at a time, so I need more than one former. But all these formers are all different, so I have to check with the shoe to see which former I, I did the shoe on so that it fits. So if I did confuse you, you get one former with the kit, and I apologise. Oh yes, and another, there were several people asking how much sugar paste we actually use, and I said I would weigh the shoes which will give you an idea of how much you'll need. So I'll do that now. I don't want mills. Grams. That's the one. Right, my heaviest shoe. The way the way the heaviest. That's quite heavy because it's got quite a thick sole. That one weighs 242 grams. So you'll need 300 grams to make that. They're all. That one's oh, 213 grams. So I, I would say I would say 300 grams. The square one. That's only 169. So yeah, I would say 300 grams. I never actually weigh them. I just uh, I just eyeball it so. But I do buy one kilo bags. Making shoes are quite easy. I know people think they are difficult, but they're not. They're easy as long as you follow, as long as you follow a few rules. First of all, you've got to be really patient. If you're not patient, you'll break your shoe. You take it off the former too quickly and it will just snap. So ideally, you leave your, your heel to, to set for several days, so that's hard. And then you add the, the sole to the heel with a little bit of water. You don't need anything more than that because the water affects the, the gum paste and it does stick. I'm going to, no I'll do it how I did the other one, I'll use the um, the mat first and then cut it out. Uh, where was I? Yeah, yeah you, um, you do your sole and let that dry for maybe a couple of days and then you put your inner sole on and when you've got your inner sole on you can actually decorate the rest of your, your shoe if you want to or just leave that overnight so it's it's, it's best to, to really to do it a week in advance 
or if you're making more than one shoe do your heels and put them on one side and and save them you don't have to use them straight away I've got I've got some heels that are several months old so we're waiting for orders if I've got time I might even put cut out some some of the stripes and put them on the heel rather than trying to cover the heel with the pattern because it would be too thick which would make the heel really thick just put the uh, just put the zebra stripes on it yeah that's not too bad and I think I will do it that way do it a different way it doesn't doesn't need to be the same because it's a zebra cut it out So Deb Boundridge is asking, Kim, do you sell shoes? Yes, I do, yes, I do. And I, I, I either sell the ones that I've made up, that I've made up shoes that I've wanted to make, you know, I've wanted to try, or I do do commissions. Not everybody feels confident in making their own shoe, which is good for me, really. <laughs> I'm doing myself out of a job here, aren't I? Yeah, those impression mats are good, Helen. The one pound fifty-five on the website, and yeah, it's the PME impression mats. That's not very good. I don't like that one. I will, uh, I will try it the other way. I'll show it the other way. So I'll cut the, I'll cut it out first, and then impression it so that we don't have any, any pressure on it, and you get a better, get a better pattern. Right, no stick, no cornflower. No stick. And these have been ordered, these grey rolling pins. It is really nice. I like it. It's great, isn't it? It's a treat not have to get the cornflower, is it, to do? Because I know the grey mats and the uh, pink mats are great for not using cornflour or icing sugar or anything like that. Yeah. But you used to always have to try and coat your rolling pin a little bit. Now you don't have to coat anything. No, no. Or any hands if you've got sticky hands. Or if you've got hot hands, then... It's advisable, and I sometimes have very hot hands. I'm hopeless, you know, with buttercream. Mm. If I'm piping buttercream, it just go really soft, really quick. It just turns to mush. <laughs> it's just, it's just not very good at all. Mm. So, I'll do it the other way and see what happens. Can you hear me okay? Because everybody tells me I've got a very, very quiet voice. So Marie, I'm not too sure if there's a bigger one or if it's just that size we're getting. It's something Carol will be able to answer tonight if you want to pose the questions to Carol tonight. I don't know if she's going to, I don't know if she's going to get a 20 inch one as well. I wasn't too, I couldn't remember what she said. Um, I, I don't know whether she's ordered the uh, the larger ones or not. I know she said that they do do them, but she doesn't know whether whether she's ordering them the uh, ordering yeah. them yet. But uh... yeah, and the live at four thirty. It's back on this page again. It's just with Carol. She's going to do a quick live for you, uh, showing you using the ganaching kit again while she Swiss around buttercreams, um, a cake, ready to decorate it tonight. Right, that's the heel piece. And you can, if you want, put a lining on it on the inside, which is really easy. What I do is I make the I make the outer, then roll roll a lighter colour really really thinly. If we had a a pasta machine that worked, <laughs> I would use that and show you. 
but just make it slightly, just cut it out slightly smaller and use your tool. What they call your it? PME wheeler. Your design PME tool. wheeler. Wheeler yeah. design tool. Yes. Wheeler design tool to make the the stitching detail, and and that finishes it off even better. Marina's I mean, asking, what paste are you using, Kim? It's the Squire's Kitchen. Squire, yes, the Squire's <laughs> Kitchen florist paste. See, verbal diarrhea. I'm really, really sorry, but I'm tired. <laughs> So, uh, Sue, Mary's asking, did you say you sell your shoes for about £35? I do, yes. They're worth a lot more than that, but... Well, someone's just seen your Facebook page and said, wow. Oh, thank you. Talented, really talented lady. Thank you. When I retired from doing cakes, I needed something to occupy me, and I love doing shoes, so I went back to shoes. Let's have a look for a nice pattern. I'll go with that. I'm really looking forward to painting this because I think it will really show up. It will. It will with the colour you're using. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll finish the other shoe first, and then come back and and have a go at painting this one. Perfect. Gorgeous. There you go. And then what you do is you just glue round. So this is what do it a size seven, isn't it? No. I am a seven as well. Me, me, I know. Well, I could do. It. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it in a size seven. I'm sure if I got the right template for it, no problem. We could wear it on a wet day though, because it might melt. <laughs> well, imagine walking down the street and shoes getting smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> Leave an imprint everywhere you go with this soggy wet so, mess. <laughs> uh, what's your so? What's your Facebook page? It's uh, now it's uh, Sugar Shoes by Kim. So I'm going to spot that. So it's, it's Sugar uh, Sugar Shoes by Kim. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. So you can look for, search for that on Facebook later. Sugar Shoes by Kim. I mean, I've got all the shoes that I've or most of the shoes that I've done are on Pinterest, but I don't know. I think if you if you just go on Pinterest and look in, look him further up then cakes, shoes, everything will probably come up for you. Oh, she's a Pinterest person. A what? She's a Pinterest person. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> well, I put, I put them on there because my iPad got so full of photographs that it stopped working. Brilliant, that's great. <laughs> it was full to capacity. Oh, Jackie's just got on like your Facebook page. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You can say hi. Go on and say hello. Right, so some more edible glue. Even though I use water to stick the sole to the heel and the inner sole to the sole, I always use edible glue for the front and back of the shoe. This is really exciting. And another thing to remember when you're making your shoe is don't don't make your sole too thin. If you make your sole too thin, then you haven't got the structure. It's your sole and your heel that you rely on to keep your shoe upright. Well, you're getting a lot of wowzers, Kim, for your Facebook page. Oh, thank you. I'm loving it. And your cakes. Yeah, some nice cakes. Mm. I'm, I do miss it. I miss the decorating. I don't miss the baking. <laughs> I'm a very messy baker, unfortunately. Kim saw me in action this morning. <laughs> oh, I'm messier than that. Just, I am a lot messier than that, honest. Right. So, what do you think, ladies, gentlemen? <laughs> I also don't know I've got any gentlemen on today, Kim. 
Oh, I've right. not seen any. I've not seen any generally. If we have, if you just give me an idea, then we know that we're not we're not uh, slighting you by not uh, including you. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, that is upset anybody. Do you think we should have zebra stripes on the heel? I like. Uh, yeah. I like the difference in pattern. Yeah. You do. I like the yeah, contrast. I think you know what I think it'll make you. I think when you've painted it, I think. you because you're going to do such a lot of detail with the paint that um, I think a plain heel will uh, complement it. Okay. But you are the artist. Yes. So no, yes. I'm, I'm, asking, I'm asking for opinions. I yes. want to know what you want. I'll do whatever well, you want. Well, Sue and Kit, uh, Kit and Pam are all say absolutely fabulous, uh, beautiful. Looks nice as it is, Di says. Yeah, I was going to do a black and white one, but of course I haven't got the heel and... Uh, the soul, so yeah, the same. Leave it plain. We had to. We had to compromise. Yeah, but you see, I want this. is This is a gorgeous shoe now, but it's got to be made into a party shoe now. Yeah. 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 Well, I will paint it later. That's that one done. It's st it's just balanced on the edge of the board there a bit. I don't want it to fall off. Yeah. I think it'll be. It'll be fine. They're saying, wow, they're loving it. They, they just absolutely love that. And I, I do, it's such, it just looks like you've just got to took it out of the shoe shop. Yeah. I am really pleased with the square toe. I must admit when I... And that's all your design, isn't it? Yeah. When I, uh, when I, I, I went online to have a look at designs for, for sandals for the summer and spring. And I saw the square toes coming out and I thought, well, nobody has done a square toe too. Not not one single person that I know has done a square toed <gasps> square toed <laughs> shoe. And it's this wine I had last night, it's still affecting my brain. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I hope Mr. Kim's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mr. Kim might be watching. I think I did tell him last night that I'd had a glass of wine with John. And thoroughly enjoyed it. But he knows what I'm like when I've had a glass of wine and it was a big glass of wine and I don't normally drink very much. Well, I don't normally drink. You know, I'm very rare. I have a drink, so it was... Uh, Sue, that's where squiffy. we're going. You preempted us there, Sue. She said the stripes would look with nice painted gold. Yes, that's, oh, what, we, we've already that's, got that sorted that's what we're going to be doing. So the patterns that I'm going to use on this are these. When adding the That's lining the to the heel, yeah. would the bottom of the lining touch the shoe so no gap shows on the bottom? Yes. Yes. And that's the strap, so it's going to be half shoe. No, not the strap, the back. It's going to be a, going to be a half shoe. Which is like... like oh, that look at that. Gorgeous. You can do it as a full shoe. Have I got a full shoe? Yes, I've got a full shoe. We love this one. I like that one. I think that is fabulous. And to do it as a full shoe, all you have to do is work out the centre for your back. Cut it in half. I'll cut, cut the cut the centre part in half, and then you've got there am I that bit. Hold on. Yeah, that bit. It's it's strange, isn't it? Because it's back to front, so I feel as though I'm doing it the wrong way around. So that's that's the bit you've got, and then you you cut out two pieces that size. And you have a seam down the seam down the back, which you cover any way you want. And I just put a, a little little piece all the way over, and use the stitcher so it, it looks as though it is part of the shoe. And then decorated the <laughs> here I am. Where am I? <laughs> Sorry, the back. <laughs> Decoration of the back, so that's the that's the fortune. The only thing that stops you from doing something really spectacular is not having the confidence and the imagination to have a go. If you have a go, 
the world's your oyster and look on look on pinterest and look on other sites at fondant shows and and get ideas if you if you can't think of something you know straight away then get ideas and you can adapt to how you want it to be right so i don't need that pattern i need this one and i need this one so let's use these yeah Sandra, if you purchased the shoe kit from us, you can um, email into info.sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com and you can, as long as you've got your order number, they will actually um, send you the uh, templates of the, the shoes, the shoe designs. The, 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 I should say the square, the square shoe. Yeah, All right. Well, what, I, what I'll do before I go home tomorrow is um, let them have the template for the for the front of the square shoe that I've come up with because it does fit, it did work didn't it yes. so I'm quite pleased with that so I don't need that one I'm now going to use that one the uh, elegant wave design which I think will look fabulous on the other shoe this one I'm only going to do the impression I'm not going to paint but I think it will look nice on its own yeah it does look like a yeah, like gorgeous patterned leather won't it yeah, yeah. it will so we'll start with the toe again, different colour, I did the light blue, not thinking about the camera, so it doesn't show up quite as well. It's another thing I got told off for. <laughs> was that Monday night? Was that Simon? No, it was Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. King. Mr. King. Mr. King. Well, he, he no, no, he doesn't. He tells me how I could have done it better. Constructive advice. Yes, he tells me how I can do it better. So, and he's an engineer, so. Yeah. I mean, I do take things on board. I love that blue, though. It is. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It is the fractal azure blue. Yeah. That I just added it very, very. It just looks like a powder blue, doesn't it? Very, very it's soft. Gorgeous. Lovely colour. Oh, winter. Leslie said Tesco's loved you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't been in Tesco since <laughs> lockdown. First lockdown. I haven't done any shopping in over a year. My husband does it all. And I think he really does enjoy going to the shops because he spends quite a lot of time going shopping. <laughs> he goes, Oops, I've just forgot something. Yeah, I'll just nip out and get this. Mine is the opposite to that. He is allergic to the shops. <laughs> well, we always used to go together, but he drives and I don't. And so he took over the shopping. So now we get what he wants and we, we always write a list, but get what he might you come see. back with, with <laughs> that plus all the extras that he's seen that he likes, <laughs> which is absolutely fine with me. I don't do you mind. sell men? Do you do men's shoes, Claire? Who is asking? No, I've never tried. No, I've never, I've never tried. So. What would you make with those? Like a Cuban heel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's so many, so many different shoes that you can do, but no, I like, I like the ladies' pretty yeah, ones. Yeah, elegant and you yeah. shapes in it. It's a bit yeah, more I like the, flat. I like, I like the elegant ones. When cutting, when cutting out the um, the circles, what I tend to do is go part way round, or the best way to do it is go part way round and then start at that end and come in. Because if you go all the way, you don't paste squishes, good word, and your pattern is not quite right. And same. I'll show you if you if you do it straight straight round you can see that it's moving oh yeah so it's best to do it 
halfway and then you get the the correct the correct pattern that way and same just little things like that make it easier make it better and then again just go around and finish it off smooth it round any imperfections you can use your abrasive whatever it is you want Somebody did say that it's not, um, sandpaper's not uh, full safe, well we know that, but then once you've, uh, once you've used it, if you're using ordinary sandpaper, then you use a brush and get rid of all the, um, all the bits, you're going to steam it when you've finished anyway, and no one's going to eat the shoe, and nobody's going to eat it, so it's not, it's not a major problem I don't think, and I did, I did learn from a, a very experienced I did a couple of courses online courses and it was a, a very experienced um, cake designer in America that introduced me to sandpaper she said you could do it on pasta is it pastillage I can't I can never say that I used to make my own pastel, pastillage because that that really just set rock hard and she said you could use it on that but I, I you can use it on uh, Gun paste as well. Where did you get your pizza cutter with the pink handle? I've no idea. <laughs> I've had it. You won't believe how many people want a pink handled pizza cutter. Yeah, I've had it for the years and years and years. So I'm sorry, I, I really don't know. I, sh I could you? I, I don't think Carol's got any on. No, uh, we've no. only got we've only got the one that we bought from the supermarket. Yeah. The old Carol bought from Amazon. She's just got. We've just yeah. got. We don't. We don't sell pizza cutters now. Yeah. So just Google it, pink handle pizza cutters. Do you grease your pinwheel? You know your pizza wheel. Do you ever grease anything? Your pizza wheel. No. Right. That's it. Just said Carol was asking. No. And no, I don't know. I've never had to. And I don't know. I'm sorry, ladies. I don't know anything more about the new shoe kits. Carol, update you all tonight. I don't know what size they're going to be in. So Carol, be the best person tonight on the line, and she'll be able to update you on everything that you'd like to know. The heel will be, I know the heel will be that size, so it will be, it will be a full size shoe like, yeah, I just it, don't won't, know it won't be the mini one. I don't know if she's getting any mini ones or it's just a full size shoe kit we're getting, I think it's just a full I size shoe. I think it is just a full size shoe yeah. kit, yeah. So, but she will be able to update you more, so I don't want to say yes and no, because I, I just don't know, I'm sorry, so, but at the moment I think it is only the full size shoe kit we are getting. Yeah, we, uh, we talked about it yesterday and we didn't discuss a, a mini one, just a full size one. Right, now then, I want this down. So. And how good do they look when they're on top of cakes? And, uh, like that, that high one like that. The shoes, yeah, incredible. Mm. It's rushing enough to take two or three glances at it. Is that a real shoe? Is that <laughs> <laughs> mm. well, I got my first silver at Cake International doing a shoe. Oh, oh. well done. Yeah. Well deserved to upgrade. And I wasn't as good then, then as I am there. <laughs> Definitely in for a gold then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They change change every year. And it tends to be the judge's preference if he likes it or if she likes it then you're in with a better chance than somebody who is prepared to criticise every single thing that you've yeah. done, whether it's perfect or not. One of my entries, the um, one of the reasons I didn't get gold for that was because I'd done a five tier cake and the next to the top one and the next to the bottom one, the patterns, uh, the, the design was different to the other three tiers. So I did the, uh, the colour slightly different and she didn't like it so she marked me down for that. So <sighs> I shouldn't have done that. And yeah, thinking, it is, it's hard when it's based on opinion. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be. I mean, I know we've all got our opinions and we think, well, that you should you should think, well, that is beautifully made, that is perfectly made, and so they get top marks. I mean, that, that's my opinion anyway. Uh, but, you know, they should get top marks, even if I don't like it. 
because yeah. you're supposed to. Yeah, it's the design. It's the it's the technical but aspects. It's everything, rather than personal preference coming into it. Uh, but don't don't be put off. Have a go if you if you're thinking of doing a a piece at Cake International. Don't be put off. It's it's a fantastic experience. Yeah, it's good to try. Oh God, yeah. Definitely an experience. Yeah, when I was first asked to do um, one, do a, a cake for it, I was um, promoting the, the DK. And so it had to be a specific cake covered in dragees. And uh, when I was first asked to do it, I said, no. I'm in my 60s. I've got severe arthritis in my hand. There's no way I want to go to Cake International and enter a cake. And then I thought, well, I'm not doing it to to win anything I'm doing it because I've been asked to do it and to promote a product that we're trying to get on the market and so I did and it, I mean it took a long time to put all the dragees on even with the the DK because it was covered in them but there wasn't there wasn't a lot of technical things on it nothing you know my techniques I didn't I couldn't show any really good techniques and I still got a bronze and that was the first entry and, and I was I was so happy I cried Aww. I thought no I've done it I've got a bronze I cried Valerie um, Kim hasn't done the pattern on the fondant and then cut it out because before when she did that uh, it some of the pattern went didn't it Kim yeah that's not there's a bit on there that's not come out perfect can I find it again What do you think? Does it need doing again? My looks right. Looks okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. There's there's a little bit there that's not imprinted as much also as the other. Also, yesterday as well, when um, Claire was trying them out for us as well, the mats, she did them both ways. Where she did what you've done with the rolling pin on top, yeah. but then she also rolled the paste onto it as well. Ah. Uh -huh. So it goes into the groove. I didn't see her do that. Oh. Just, I saw her, I saw her roll it onto it as well. We'll try it that way. Sorry. No, we'll try, we'll try, well. we'll try a we'll different, a, a different technique and, uh... Yeah, it was just, a, a, just, I saw her do it a couple of different ways, you see. Yeah. It's, 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 when she was doing it again, you've gone. Yeah. Yeah, because I only stayed for a little while, yeah. didn't I, and then went out. Oh, right, we'll try, we'll try it that way. It was an incredible class. Oh, it was... It was superb, it does. Those, those couture cupcakes were absolutely amazing. Yeah, it was a lovely class. And she's so funny. Yeah. She's, uh, <laughs> she's, uh, she's a lovely girl. I can call her a girl, can't I? I'm yes. an old lady. <laughs> yeah, she's lovely and it is definitely worth buying the class if you, if you, want, if you want fun and you want to learn how to do things. It's, uh, and you've got it forever. This is great not having to use corn flour. You might notice that some some of my my gum paste is thicker at one side than the other, but my arm after I had the fall. In February, still not 100%, so I'm a bit weak on that side. So that's that's my excuse. Oh, yeah, because you, you can't put as much pressure on that one else, no. can you? No. no. Right. Now, let's have a look. Oh, bother. When you do your first cut, it doesn't matter if it moves, but your other cuts, it does. Um, out to in. Out to in. Is 
it's just the simple things that make it easier and, yes. and it's worth doing. So. Any more questions? How many no. have we got watching? We've got 166 people watching you. Very yeah, good. So they're all talking about where to get checks from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I know Asda stop Asda, Asda to continue checks now. They don't do checks anymore, Asda. Mm. Don't but, they? No, but Morrison Morrison's do it, but not all Morrison stores. You can get it in Sainsbury's as well. I always used to get mine from Sainsbury's. I, always, I never had any trouble getting it from there. What's that for? The boards? Yes. <laughs> because <laughs> Margaret said we're all stroking our pink boards with it. <laughs> so that's why we've all run out of treks because everyone's out there who's got a board, a grey board and a pink board. You've all gone and bought the treks, haven't you? <laughs> Try it the other way then. Might be easy for me actually. So how did she do it? Did she put the the mat down and then roll the? She put put the paste into the onto the mat. Yeah, and then rolled it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we want it that way, don't we? So that they like that. Ah, it's moved. Yeah, now it's a plastic on the surface. Yeah, it is. Moving. Yeah. No, I'll do it my own. I'll do it the other way. Do it mainly with my fingers and see if that improves it. So with ordinary fondant, it works really, really easy and very quickly. But with this being tougher stuff, got to work quite out here. <laughs> yeah. It is a lovely pattern this so uh, I really like it. I think with this shoe I will just do the pattern on the on the toe bit. Oh yeah. And then do the And then just yeah. have the have the nice plain side coming down. Yeah. Yeah. Have the heat the the back and the and the sides play. You got it? Did anybody see me on Instagram doing my little jig? <laughs> <laughs> I never in a million years thought I would be on Instagram doing a jig. Yes, Kim, the... let me do a boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> what the yeah. hell is a boomerang? Yeah, she's on the, is it the sugar and crumb story? Yeah. He's oh. on the sugar and crumb the story. I'm doing a jig on there as well. Facebook. It, as soon as I click send on the Instagram, it goes it to Facebook. It goes to Facebook as well, yeah. Oh, Mine does that. Right. So they get the, uh, the stories. Mm, I didn't know I could do a jig. Was that shake your shoes? Yeah. <laughs> I've, done, I've done a boomerang. Whatever that is, I've done a boomerang. <laughs> No matter how old you are, you can do these things if you try. Exactly, have no fear. <laughs> Boomerang the fear. Again, just do the sides as well. Just helps it stick better. I really like these half shoes. I think they are they are very classy and I think they're lovely. I really, really like them. Right. This is thinner than the 
the one that I did on uh, on my square toed shoe so I haven't I haven't actually softened the edges and made them a little bit thinner and then again you've just got to maneuver it so have you got it and sometimes it takes a little bit of time it's um, it's a case of going back to it and and playing with it until you've got it right. Oh, this is a stunning colour. It's beautiful. And what you can do to make sure it's stuck properly they love this they love this colour. Yeah it is, it's yeah, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Use your Dresden tool. And just run your Dresden tool down it. Both sides. That's just that just tucks it in nicely. And then because the shoe is actually completely dry. I can remove it, turn it upside down, and make sure wow. it's all it's all stuck. And then place it back on. It's safer doing it on your former than trying to do it free of the former because it's it's secure there. So it's not going anywhere, it's supported, it's not going to break. They're tough in one, one respect, but very, very delicate at the same time, which sounds you know, very contradictory, but it's not, that's what so they are. So like. that was a fractal, was that the fractal azure blue? Azure blue, azure yeah. Azure blue that um, Helen... So which else did I do azure blue? Oh, that I did my shoe, didn't I? That's all... I did the, the sandal, they're all, that's all azure blue. Just various different shades of it. So, and the butterfly is Karen Davis. Karen Davis butterfly. And then I did the edging in the... In the sparkling white, in, in, the, in the, the pearl sparkle? Yeah, yeah. Wonder dust? Yeah, so that was, that was just finished off that. That was the first square toe I did. So that was just playing around and having fun. Yeah, that is that is stunning. That is lovely. Yeah. And just keep just keep pushing it in. Just as, just as long as you you know until you're happy that it's secure. Just keep playing with it. Right, now for the long bit. <sighs> I don't like rolling out long bits. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're getting loads of love hearts and thumbs up for that shoe there, Kim. Oh, thank you. I hope you're learning and I hope you're, you're wanting to have a go yourself. That's what it's all about, isn't it? You'd, and make, if, you'd make me want to. Yeah. yeah. And if at any time you have any questions and obviously I'm not here, you can always message me on uh, on Messenger and I will help in any way I can. Or ask a question on uh, on the Sugar and Crumbs yeah. website. And we can tag you in it. Yeah. Tag you in it on the website. And yeah, that's fine. Here. Yeah. I just want you on speed dial. <laughs> You've got me on speed dial? <laughs> I'm going to have on speed dial. <laughs> oh, I'm going to turn it off then. <laughs> Phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it'll not be on my phone. No. <laughs> she might get me on my iPad, but she definitely won't get me on my phone. Oh, it's nice, very, very nice. Now, this said, is... Somebody said on there they can imagine that it sounds like a talcum powder smell coming from that <laughs> because it's, it's, it's such a lovely colour, like yeah. a baby colour. You do imagine like a gorgeous, ta you know, like a, a yeah. And it really is a, a beautiful summer shoe colour that yeah. it makes you really want to be. Uh, Getting out there now with your summer clothes on, oh summer no. shoes. False tan on your legs. <laughs> Those were the days. 
I tend to get them kept covered up now. <laughs> don't show my legs. Don't show my legs. Don't show my arms. Unless I'm on holiday and nobody knows me. That's me as well. <laughs> no, actually, I'll show a bit of my arms, but me, me, uh, my legs stay covered and I'll just uh, I'll get them out all day. Yeah. Well, Angela thinks it's a fabulous thanks, Kim. She's absolutely loving it. Oh, um, Pam says, stunning shoes. Thanks for sharing your talent. Oh, thank you. Lisa Miles Darcy's got her first heel hardening. Ooh. Brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. What I can what I can say, if you're in a rush to finish it, your your shoe is usable after a day. It's not strong enough to leave it off the former, but you can put your sole onto it after a day. It will take longer to dry the whole thing, but you can do it if you get impatient. But you've still got to be careful. So it, it'll be sort of crispy on the outside and soft in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Crispy and soft. So this is. Oh, I wish I got past a machine. <laughs> well, the first day here, Kim, you, you, you wrecked it. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> it was brand new, and it had been used for about three seconds. I, I hadn't watched, even I, finished I using it. I watched you use it. I watched you wind, wind, and wind, and oops. Yeah, and then it stopped. What happened to it? It's got to be. It's got to be something. It's something and nothing with it. It just uh, Kim wound it on Monday night, and then wound it again, and then it, it just stopped. Stopped. It's supposed. Both the wheels are supposed to go around, and one of the wheels has stopped going it round, jammed. so it wouldn't go through. So I broke it on my first use. It's in the office. We were supposed to be taking it back yesterday and forgot. <laughs> it was in the car already and we forgot. So But never mind. A pizza cutter is uh, not a pizza cutter. A pasta machine is really really good. And also this shoe If you look at the detail on that All, all the pieces on that are done on the pizza cutter with the, is it, what is the long strips? Tag, is it tagliatelle? Tag, tagliatelle. On the tagliatelle. Wow. And that's how I cut all those out. So that is so quick. And then it's just a case of sticking them on where you want them to go. So it's, and it just looks like that ruffled material, doesn't yeah. it? Like, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's lovely. I've done several like that. Oh, that one as well. That's got its. Uh, that's got some pattern on it. If you look. Well, Sandra Elsie. Other side. That side. Oh, that. I, I, love, I love that because you've got that all side. that design like that. Yeah, that's got a pattern on it on there, and on the heel. On the top of the heel. You've so. inspired Sandra Elsie to get her kit out of the cupboard that's been in there for eight years. Get your kit out. And she, you've inspired her to use it because she's never used it in eight years. And so you have really inspired her this week to get the kit out and use it. Who That's does? brilliant. That's brilliant. You can't, you can't spend that money and not use it. It's, it's sad. It really is sad. I, I ended up buying two kits purely because when I got a shoe to do, I lost my first kit couldn't find it anywhere I searched high and low and I started panicking and thought right I'll have to buy another kit because I've got a shoe to do bought my second kit and the first one suddenly reappeared <laughs> <laughs> oh I was mad I was absolutely livid so I, I did end up with two kits but then I've used them both anyway so you at the same time? <laughs> well I used bits from both yeah that's not bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's coming to use anyway. Oh it's yeah, like, it's, it's, like it's had its uses, but it. <laughs> it's over it's over a hundred pound to do a shoe that's not going to cost you. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know at the time that I would be making lots of shoes, so they they have come into their own now, which is uh, a bonus. What you'll have to do is show me all your creations. I want to I want to see what you're making, ladies, and I can't wait to see them. 
I might even copy some of your designs, you never know. <laughs> I mean, you'll be shouting at me for, for copying what you've done. No. We inspire each other. Yeah. That's what, that's what uh, groups are all about, isn't it? Getting inspiration. And Absolutely. Speaking to like-minded mm. people and, and learning. And I've been doing cakes now for, well, my daughter's 40, so for 39 years, and I'm still learning. There's always something new. You'll never stop learning. You're never 100% happy with what you've done. You can always see any fault. With the shoe, you can cover your faults up. If you see something you're not happy with, put a flower on it. <laughs> Put a strip on it. Don't discard it. Just cover it up. I learnt that quite early on with cakes. It's not like computers where you can click uh, undo. <laughs> no, no. You uh, you make the best of what you think is a bad job. Yeah. And people just don't see it. They don't notice. And what you're not happy with, other people would be absolutely thrilled to bits with. So. Yeah. Never ever put yourselves down. If it's your first shoe, shoe and it's not perfect, show it anyway and say it's your first shoe and that you're really, really proud of it and you're really happy with it. Don't ask for criticism because you'll get it. Just just put on that it's your first shoe, this is what you've done and you're really happy with the result. And if you if you know that there's room for improvement, just say, I know there's room for improvement but this is what I've done, and I've sorted bits. And if you if you do that, then nobody can come on and say, oh, well, you should have done this, you should have done that. You do it your way, and as far as I'm concerned, you've, you've done a good job. Mm. If you've had a go, you've done a good job. So, right, that is too thick, but it'll have to do because I'm... I'm really struggling to get it thin with my, my arm, I'm sorry. So for those of you that don't know what I actually did, was during the snow, my husband and I, do, we do a lot of walking and we decided when we got, when we got notification to go for our COVID jab, we would walk up in the snow. Not a problem, proper walking boots, all prepared. What I didn't see when, when I'd had my jab and we were coming home was a street sign had fallen over and it was under the snow and I didn't see it. I stepped on it, slipped, went bang. I went down like a sack of spuds. I mean, there's no, no other way. It wasn't elegant at all. And uh, the street sign had fallen on its face, so all the, all the metal work oh, I fell on. Yeah. So I damaged my knee, my hip, and my arm, and I've damaged the um, the tendons in my arm. And the doctor did say it can take up to six months to get it right. You better off breaking a bone. Oh gosh! Which takes six weeks. So I'm still not a hundred percent, but I can I can do things. Not quite as as well as I could, but uh, I'm getting there. And we don't let it stop us, do we? No, you just carry on, don't you? So you and then if you feel aching, you just stop for a while, don't you? Yeah. And then you just carry on later on. Yeah. Well, I couldn't, get, I couldn't get undressed. I couldn't wash my hair. It was... It was hysterical. I just sat on... I just sat on, <laughs> sat on the bed and shouted on us... I can't get undressed. I can't take my things off. And he had to come up and help me. And then I got, I got into the habit of, after a couple of days, then I took my right, my, my good arm off first and pulled it over my head and yeah. then down my bad arm. And, and that's how I, I started doing it. If, right. Go if someone wanted to make a shorter heel, could they, they're at, Linda's asking, can you just cut it down and adapt it? Uh, you couldn't use the former... But you can do it on, you could do, do, I've seen it done on, on top of a bowl. So you could get a, a lower bowl 
and, and try it with that and, and foam on, onto the side of the bone. But again, try it. It might work, it might not. And if it doesn't, then just roll it all up and start again. So, right. Let's do some gluing. With this, you will find that it's longer than it needs to be. So you need to cut some off. But that is purely because people put the toe, the toe piece in different in different places. So they've catered for, for all eventualities. And when you're putting your when you're putting your sole on, if you leave a little leave a little gap there, so you've got a little ledge. Beautiful. you've got a little ledge then it helps secure it in place and you've got something to rest it on. If you've got any friends that you know are missing this afternoon because they're working then get them to, to watch this on, on YouTube. Let's well, great you did the live on Monday night and showed them how to do the heel and start the shoe and they finished it off now and it's absolutely great that they, 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 it's a, two demos, it's full shoes isn't it? It's it great. is, yeah, yeah. So you're just using the, uh, I think that's the fractal glue you're using there isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind all this baking if she were baking for us. If we were, if we were getting the benefits of it, so we, we get this delicious, delicious smell, yeah, and all the temptation, and none of the benefits. I just suppose it's uh, it's slimming. We're just sniffing it and that ain't it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So none of the benefits, but none of the calories. Yeah, that is really, really thick. That. It's sick, but we kind of get how it goes. Yeah. You're giving us some good inspiration. Yeah. And if you if you see, if you look, where are we? Are you going to find? There's there's quite a bit left over, and so what I do is get some scissors. Ha <laughs> ha! I love these. <laughs> They're the guitar ones, aren't they? They are fabulous, <laughs> and I can actually get my finger and thumb in them. So just get that. Yeah, Marina, the first part of the shoe one, that was on Monday evening at 8 o'clock. So you can find that. Just put the sugar and crumbs in and put Kim's name in. And it's the, um, in fact, it did the live before this one. So you can just put uh, put sugar and crumbs in YouTube and you can always put Kim's name in and it will be the latest video and you'll see the shoe, the shoe one being done there for Monday night. Did you miss that? Yes, she says, can we watch the first part of the shoe? Yeah. We had a we had a great night, didn't we? <laughs> there was a lot of verbal diarrhea. <laughs> and I was quite nervous because I hadn't been on for quite a long time and things had changed, so Finish that off when I've got it all all secure. So a little bit more glue. You do. You really don't need to make it this thick. I would say two millimeters for the. For the um, for the actual front of the shoe and the the heel piece. So if you had your pasta machine, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I had the pasta machine, trash. yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Mine's about fifteen years old, and I've never ever. Do you know what? It's, some, it's something and nothing on it, Kim. Yeah, it's just absolutely something and nothing. Yeah. If you go around to your heel, and then you can start moulding it.
Like when Keith's making them all run to the kitchen, they all think their ovens are beeping. Phantom <laughs> 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 oven beeps. I like it, why not? Keeps your all on your toes. You oh, Julie Wall is shouting hi from Abu Dhabi. Oh, hi. Just call this, we'll catch up later. Oh, great. Oh, a beautiful place to be. I bet it's warmer. I like the Middle East. And Jenny Moore was just made some toffee apple ice cream and popped it in the freezer while watching Kim. <laughs> oh, wow. Toffee apple. That sounds mm. gorgeous. There we go. That is just beautiful. That is just absolutely beautiful. The colour, the finish is gorgeous. It's classy, isn't it? Classy, it certainly is. Yeah, it's classy. And what I'm going to do on the seam is put some little buttons. And the way I make the buttons, if I can find it, put it away because I didn't think I was using it. I don't know what size it is. That looks like a number 10, that. Right. Oh, yeah, I found it, number 10. Karen. All right, smarty pants. <laughs> a number ten. And to make the buttons really, really nice and round. She's still laughing, aren't you? Smarty pants. I've got something right for once. <laughs> smarty <laughs> pants. Shut up. You know them off by heart. <laughs> she does. And now my hands are sticky, so. Uh... Di just loves all your shoes. Thank you. Oh, and Mandy's made some strawberry milkshake macarons and the flavoured biscuits. Will you stop making me hungry? I know. And Margaret says, Can I, could I tell you, Kim, Margaret yeah. Crozier says, I've sent, she sent you two photos of shoes that she'd have the last time she made shoes on, on S&C. Her messenger is off at the moment. As you know, I'm doing chocolate shoes, but still love Kim's designs. Oh, thank you. So if you could have it, so if you look at your messenger later, when you turn your phone on, when it's charged up. It'll be my, it'll be my iPad. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be on my iPad. <laughs> so you want to roll it out, not too thinly, just nice and. What's that? About two millimeters, maybe, maybe less. Anyway, cover it in cling film. And then. Make your buttons. And what you get there is a really nice rounded button. It's not just a, a flat cut out, it's, you've got a rounded top. And it's something I learned a, a long time ago and it's, uh, it makes such a difference because it's, it does look like a little button rather than just a piece of round fondant stuck on you. You might be able to see it better when you look at it like that. Happen. It's great it makes it more like it. Yeah, yes. it domes it. Yes. So that's uh, a good thing to uh, to know. So I shall put three little buttons on. And that will cover the seam. The little details that make all the difference. Mm. I think it's got three on that one. Yeah, three. Three buttons. I love that tip you just give them with the cling film. I've seen a few, we're doing all the classes, I've seen a few tutors do that with it. Yeah. Do does that a lot. Uh, yeah. To get, you know, like to get the rounded hearts out when she's doing a, doing a cake, a cake toppers. Yeah. It does, it's, um, it looks like a designer rather than just a little bit a bit of fondant cut out. 
Right. Tiny blob of blue. Or water, you could use water for this. What? Seen covered up. That's brilliant, that. What a good idea. Just, brilliant. just finishes it off. Finishes it off, like I said, there's no, there's, there's no seams there, and it just makes it look wonderful. Yeah. So that's your finished shoe. Now, Carol has told me that I've got to use a steamer. Yes, because as you know, ladies, we have just got them in. We've got just, the show them, just show yeah. them again. There we We've go. got the cake steamers in. I'm, I'm rowing. <laughs> Twenty six ninety nine. They are ladies. It's the new PME cake steamer, and they're on our. I think they're on our website now, but they have just been delivered today, so we have got them in the building. Use it that way around. You can see it better, can't you? If you use it front way. <laughs> so okay, yeah, we'll that is again. that is brilliant. How many cakes are you making? And it is on. It's on the website. It's not this cake. Is what well, the cake's on the website. No, the, <laughs> no, the steamer is on the website. Just check the website then, and the steamer's on the website. So that's two shoes made. What we like for time? Uh, we're on half past, past three. So we've got half an hour. Yes. Right. So what I will do. <laughs> and start painting. What I've got to introduce is these fabulous little spoons. Yes. I don't. They're not on the website yet. Are no, they? they're on. They're on order. They are on order. Yeah. With our next order, which is which is brilliant because you just scoop a little bit out and put it in your. In Do your you know what we've all been with our wonder dust? We've all been like dabbing it out, trying to get out with a palette knife. And uh, usually when you try and tip it out, you just tip a bit too much out. Well, they sent us this trial spoon and I've tried it and it's absolutely amazing for just getting enough out. And when you let it dry in your bowl or your, or your paint tray, it actually scoops up really nice in the spoon to put back into your jar as well. So, here's my little, little spoon. It's great, love it. shoes I haven't no but I've no, been because told because someone just says do the smaller size shoes come up as fabulous as fabulous as what these they will do ones. yeah because this is exactly the same only in miniature so yes they will I've uh, I've been talking to Carol and I think I will be coming back to uh, to do some some smaller ones Brilliant. so that'll be interesting because that's something I've never done before so yeah, so the oh, so you are liking this type of spoon for this dust, great. So they are on order, and they'll be coming in with our next order. So keep an eye out for when they come in. We'll be letting you know. What dust is this? This is the. Um, Have you got bright gold there? It, yes, it is bright gold. The wonder dust, bright gold. I don't want to have too much solution to it. My hands aren't very steady, so. What do you like, my spoon? Do you like my spoon? Yeah? I love this spoon. <laughs> I absolutely adore the spoon. 
you're just going to have to you you you're all going to have to check my uh, <laughs> check my bags before I go home because I'm quite likely to go home with a bag full of new rolling think, pins we'll and spoons. We'll have to have a like passport control, but think of a bit of an ID tomorrow morning before you go home. <laughs> Everything I see, I like. I mean, I love the new uh, the new mats. They're fabulous. The acrylic rolling pin. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is. I like this one. That is. Anybody who knows me knows that I really like that rolling pin. <laughs> and the last so you time. Want to get like, well, the last time I tried to uh, to buy one, they were out of stock, and now I don't use rolling big rolling pins like I used to. So. It's it's a bit further down on my list. No, I'm going to be quiet now. Yeah, concentration <laughs> instead of breathing while the painting is happening. <laughs> but that's it, until you do stop breathing and concentrating. Oh, it comes out so, such good pigment. Yeah. <gasps> it certainly does. Wow. Yeah, so the spoons are the spoons are quite um, a, they're a nice solid piece. They're uh, they're not flimsy plastic. They are like a die cast metal, aren't they? They're they are coated. Yeah. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm not too sure. I think they'd be around about two pound fifty, but they are worth it because they're not going to break and they're really really handy. They've got a good depth to the shovely bit on it. You'll only have to buy one. Yes. You won't have to keep buying no plastic ones that break. Right, my head's not in the way, is it? It's in the corner. It's in the corner. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, Mandy's just ordered that impression mat that you've got there. It's great, isn't it, Mandy? It looks it's super. I can't wait to try it in black and white and do a proper, a proper zebra or zebra, if you push. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a Yorkshire lass. I might live in Derbyshire now, but born and bred in New Yorkshire. You take a girl out of Yorkshire, you can't take Yorkshire out of the girl. You certainly can. <laughs> so in Yorkshire we have bread cakes <laughs> and Henderson's relish. <laughs> Not Liam Perrins. <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah, that's something. So we're about to see Yorkshire if Viv's asking him. Sheffield. I'm a Sheffield lass. And now Mandy's going, where in Derbyshire? Because she's a Derbyshire girl. Works up. <laughs> no, Killamarsh and now Nottinghamshire works up, but all within fifteen miles of yeah, each other. Great. We've never we've never travelled very far. Mandy said Henderson's all the way. So is that a relish that you all down that you Yorkshire people know it's, is it? It's Sheff Sheff yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's made in Sheffield and And it says two right bread cake here in Doncaster. Yeah. Is that is that what we call a, a, a balm cake? Bap balm cake. You've got <laughs> you've got all silly names for him when Oh what did he say? Uh, <laughs> so do you go to Chippy and say, Can I have a chip bread cake? Yeah. Oh no, no, we say, no, 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 we say chip butter. Chip butter. <laughs> Can we have a chip butter? Not bre chip bread cake. But, uh, so can you just explain to Sharon Carpenter what you've mixed with the Wonder Dust to make it into a paint? Dipping solution. Or you can get Rejuvenator Spirit as well. You've got Dipping Solution from Culpit yeah, and Rejuvenator Culpit. Spirit from Sugar Flare. Yeah. I'm leaving it on the former while I while I paint it. If my tongue comes out, I apologise. It does when I'm concentrating. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Mm -hmm. It's not a stripy cat. Zebra. <laughs> well, it's just animal print, isn't it? I mean, if you yeah. look at the clothes, you never know. You never know no. what they are. They're just animal print, aren't they? Yeah, and they do because they change the colour all the time, don't they? Yeah. So they don't. They don't stick to the, uh, the straight of the uh, of the animal. No. Because when have you ever seen a pink leopard? 
Yeah, I know, I know. I've, ne <laughs> I've never seen a latte zebra. I must admit, I've never seen a latte zebra. Nice wedding shoe, this. This is a bit that I'd like to do, just paint the end result. <laughs> okay. You mean you don't want to have a try? <laughs> Lindsay, there isn't a difference between dipping solution and rejuvenator spirit. It's just the it's just the brands. Culpit call it dipping solution, sugar flare call it rejuvenator spirit. It is the same thing. It's the same yeah. thing. Just try not to put too much in. I tend to uh, decant it into a, a squeezy bottle so that you can have more Kim, control. you know what this kitchen gets, don't you? We get the rejects. So we got the one without the, the squirty top. <laughs> what? The squeezy bottle? Yeah, we, we have a squeezy bottle, but you're supposed to have a little, like you get a vinegar thing, at the thing um, it's oh, missing it. So we, got the, we get the rejects. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Second class citizens we are. But no, it's looking great. Love it. Yeah, Helen's loving it with the gold. I think it looks great. It's yeah. And if you do actually catch it in a place where it's not supposed to be, you can use a, a nice clean brush and dip it in the solution and then just smooth it over the um, the mistake and, and it goes away. Oh, fantastic. So let's recap. Make sure that if you can do your heel quite a long time in advance. Don't make your, your um, your sole too thin and sometimes a thicker sole looks quite uh, quite stylish take your time I never know in advance what I'm doing I unless it's a it's le unless it's a shoe that's been commissioned I just go with the flow I just do the the heel choose a color do the heel the sole and then take it from there because then I get inspiration. And I remember what you said on Monday and, and what you were saying in the kitchen. It's patience, isn't it? This it is. It's patience. If you're not patient and and you don't let your shoe set enough or set properly, then what you will have is a broken shoe. If you start taking it off the former, moving it about, it's going to break. It's going to snap, even if you've got a thick, um, if you've got a thick enough sole. Wow. So I would, if, you, if you're making a shoe, and especially the first time, give yourself a week and a half and, and then you can guarantee that it'll be as strong as it's going to be. Hmm. And how do you store these shoes, Kim? I've got wardrobes full. Do you, in, do, you, do you put them in box? Do you store them in boxes? No. No, I don't. I, I just uh, I've got I've got a cupboard at the top of the stairs where I used to keep all my cake, all my wedding cake dummies, and now they've all gone. Then I just put my shoes in there. I don't I don't think there's any point in me uh, putting them in boxes because it's uh, it's pretty clean in there and, and no dust. Yeah. So uh, and then I can just go and get them out if I want them if I want them out for display or anybody decides they want one. The only ones that I post out are the ones like this because they've got less chance of breaking. If you've got something that's got something really delicate on it like a bow which a lot of my shoes have got bows on and antle straps and they're no good for posting because they're just they're just smash. Yeah. Um, no matter how, how good you package them is it? It's, yeah. It only takes a bang on the box doesn't it? Well I, saw, I sold one last week and posted it out and just before I came here she sent me a message showing me the parcel and the shoe was in bits I'm hoping that the one I posted her out straight away 
and it's going to arrive in one piece. And I, I wrap it in foam, I put it in a polystyrene box and make sure it doesn't move and it's still got smashed. I put fragile on it. Yeah. In fact, the, the lady that bought it said, I don't know how it broke me in that packaging. So that's the front. They, they, they absolutely love this, they're loving it. And I must admit, I do, the latte and the gold together is stunning. That is really nice. It's isn't it? gorgeous. It really I is. am so pleased with that. See, I know it's not perfect because of the the thickness of the uh, of the gum paste, and I know it could be a lot thinner, and there it would look more elegant. But for the demonstration, it's the overall effect is. It's stunning, Marie Cutler. It's stunning, and Julie Wallace. It's gorgeous. Jackie thinks it's gorgeous. Everyone thinks that the love art at Gunner Braids is tremendous. There is just love art after love art flying up the page. Oh, thank you. And as as, as Lisa said, it's drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I'd wear it. I would definitely wear it. If I could wear heels anymore, of course. Yeah, my heel days stopped about... Well, my heel they, they stopped. My heel wearing days stopped 32 years ago. I just don't do it because I'm too tall. I end up breaking my neck. You don't need to. <laughs> Me when you're tall. I think my granddaughter's going to be tall. She's got legs up to her armpits. <laughs> I don't know where they come No, I think they came from her dad, actually. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, this is a long one. Do you know Dinaz, Kim? Do you, do you see Dinaz on our page a lot from, from um, America? Uh, no, I don't Dinaz, actually. Well, no. Dinaz is just saying that uh, when she was in London, they had six inch uh, in, in London. She, they had six inch wooden heels. They had carvings on them, like I, I love Bob, the peace sign, a uh, patchwork cloth, you know, on top. Yeah. She was 13. She begged her parents for them. She'd never seen anything so beautiful. And that's how her love affair with shoes started. She wore them for years. Yeah, I should think so. Well, I used to walk, I used to wear really high heels. I used to walk to work for half an hour. Uh, I always walked to work when I lived at home and in my high heels and I wore them all day and I got arthritis in my big toe and I had to have my toe fused mm. so it was two inch max and because I'm only five foot two when we go to nightclubs and I took my shoes off to dance everybody would be looking around saying where's she gone because <laughs> everybody was taller than me but yeah, I love high heels. I had a very cruel friend who every time I met her, we'd have to go in the shoe shops and I'd have to watch her buy these beautiful shoes knowing that I couldn't have them. I'm sure she did it on purpose. <laughs> and they love the way they say, they, they, even like the little bit on the heel at the back, it, it just sets it off and makes it look so realistic. Yeah. Because I had talked twice when I came in, and you know, like it just looked like you'd put one of the little cobbler's heels in. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it off the form when. Oops. Yeah, I've gone over that, so I'll have to use the uh, the solution to uh, sort that out. So you'll see that. See that in action. Nearly finished. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I am really, really pleased with the way this has come out. I am so glad that uh, Carol's got these uh, these impression mats in because I would never have dreamt of doing it. Not in a million years. Right, I'm going to take it off the former because I've got two bits on the side that I can't reach. 
So, Joe Lot, the dust that we're using, it's our new um, Wonder Dust from Sugar and Crumbs. And we've got it in eight, no, nine, nine lovely colours. And you just put Wonder Dust in on our website, you'll see it there. We've got a gorgeous sparkling gold in now, as well as that this is the bright gold that uh, Kim's using. All the golds would look nice on that, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. Right, so... I've made a couple of mistakes. I've gone over on a couple of things. So just dip a, a paintbrush in the uh, in the solution and go over it. It's, it is gone. Don't put your same paintbrush back in your solution, otherwise, you, you compromise it. And then you have a coloured solution and you don't want one, you want clear. Come on, that'll work. solution and a damp cloth if it doesn't come off. It's quite strong stuff this. So the Wonder Dust are £2.75 each. No I'm sorry there's no offer. We don't have a bundle with the Wonder Dust. They are just all £2.75 each. The actually RRP should be 3 99 but we have reduced it to £2.75. There we go that's done. So now I'll put the steamer on and steam it. I'll steam them both so that you know what the steam one looks like. Um, can you pass me a turntable? Certainly. I'll do it on a turntable and then. Thank you, dear. I don't normally steam it until everything's completely dry, but. Uh, Yes, you can use this paint it. to uh, paint in the sweet stamp letters and any embossing you want to do. You can just uh, use your rejuvenator spirit or your dipping solution with it and make it into a nice paint. I'm glad you really like them. I'm so pleased. And what I will do, once it's completely dry, is just smooth off the edges and finish it off better. Like it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It, it really is. is beautiful. Yeah. Mm. I'll put a shoe on that high now I fall off it. Mm. Yeah, I'll probably. <laughs> I'd have to hobble because my foot won't bend. <laughs> And then just lightly steam and with the with the steaming and the Squires Kitchen flor florist paste it leaves it shiny not well you can do it more than once and, and each time you do it the sheen is uh, is more prominent well Breeder thinks you should need you need a you need a second career as a shoe designer <laughs> fabulous yeah somebody else said that once and yeah Oh, I'd love to design shoes. Yeah, get me out there. That's that one, Deb. It won't be quite as shiny when it's dry, but it will still have a lovely sheen to it. That is absolutely, Kim, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Love it. Are you going to steam your blue one? I am. But I'll have to do it on a. Yeah. I'll have to do it on another turntable because turn I do please because I don't want to disturb that one. I'll stick to it. Thank you. I think what I do is drop it on the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Throw all that hard work. Throw all that hard work. 
going to see yeah. a crumpled shoe. And so your steamer comes in. If you get any glue, I mean like I've got glue under there, there's a bit of glue that's not dry yet and it's it's under there. It's um it spreads it, it sort of spreads it out and blends it in so you, there's no there's no glue marks anywhere on your shoes. It's not really the term, is it? it spreads it out. But it works for me. We cakey people do make up our own <laughs> do make up our own words. <laughs> It just softens out any... So you're a shoe lady, marks. you're not a handbag person, are you? They say, where's the handbag to match? <laughs> I could do. For the Cake International um, entry that I did, I did a shoe in a bag. And about 3,000 dragees on it. I love the way, like you said, the steamer there just makes it, it brings the sheen up. Yeah. There's the other one. Absolutely stunning. So would I'm you like to bring both of them in at the same time? I'm impressed, if, even if I have to say so say myself. yourself. Well, yeah. me, me and Terry are thoroughly impressed. And all these 149 people on here are absolutely impressed. They love what you've done and they're just going, wow, and it's brilliant. And we've not been as giggly, have we? It says fabulous wedding shoes, but you said you could wear them as at Royal Ascot. You could see them on the red carpet at the Oscars. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right, move everything out of the way. Says, wow, Kim, you've sold me lots of things this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't know, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for me. I might be in bother. In fact, if I move this lovely small grey board that I've been able to cut which is, on. <laughs> which the size is 300 millimetres by 250 millimetres, which, which is just the right size for doing shoes. Fingers crossed. Well, Debbie Harvey's fabulous darling. Moi. There we are. Wow. Joe Lott says they're gorgeous, my type of shoe. And then who needs red soles when you can have blue? No, I've got some with red soles, but I do like the blue. The steaming brings out the pattern beautifully. Yeah, it does. And like I say, it, it will dry off a little bit, but it will still have a lovely sheen. And this, I think this is the only florist paste that I've used that does that. Every, every other that I've tried, it goes dull again. Yes. But this doesn't, doesn't at all. Yeah, I love it. I'm really, really thrilled with well, that. Well, wants a real pair. Yeah. Yeah, so do I. They're absolutely gorgeous. Do you, and do you do left or right shoes? Depends which way the, the soul is when I, when I touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm left-handed, so I always tend to to work around that side. So, which I, is which, which, is, I, which seems which seems strange because would, being left-handed. Yeah, it's make prominent hand going. Yeah. I would, yeah. Yeah. So um, I would be make I would make actually I would probably make right handed shoes me. Yeah. But I made I mean, yeah. <laughs> I made that one the other way around. And it felt strange. Alien. It was really alien. Patricia, not you don't really eat these shoes because they're made out of the flower paste. They're really far too hard to eat. I think once you've done these shoes at the top of the cake, the more of us as a keepsake for the recipient of the cake. Yeah. Yeah, that I think I think that's that's right. I mean, yes, they are made out of sugar, so I suppose they could be, but I, I wouldn't like to try. I mean, you would break your teeth. Yeah, sugar, it's, it's, it's sugar paste. It's, it dries really, really hard. Doesn't it does, it? yeah, and it needs to for what we need. So what don't do. forget now, it's um, just gone five to four now. So Carol's going to be back at half past four this afternoon to do a quick demo for you. It'll be about 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> and that will be uh, as she's going to um, fill and ganache a cake for you with the Swiss, using Swiss Grand Buttercream. And she's going to show you how to do that again using the um, Bridget's um, ganaching kit because then she's going to bring the same cake out of the fridge later on tonight at 8 o'clock slide and she's going to decorate it for you using some of the Lissy Lou's and uh, Katie Sue moulds and other bits and bobs. 
And don't forget we have giveaways tonight. Carol's got uh, some little goodies to give away to you, so make sure you join in at eight o'clock. One last thing, when you put in your heel, up against your former, if it comes up above the former, then you can either try it as soon as it comes out of the freezer when you've made it and chop it down a little bit so that it fits or file it down. If you left it like that, you would have a lump. You would have a, a groove or I don't mean a groove, do I? What do I mean? Like a bit of a wedge. Yeah, like a, a wedge. wedge. Yeah, you'd have a lip and and it wouldn't look right. It's got to be it's got to be smooth to get a lovely smooth line when you were uh, when you had your soul. So a little well, bit of elbow. Kim, we're all saying thank you and th you're gonna be back tonight with Carol, aren't you? You're sort of you're in the kitchen tonight. Yeah, I'm the assistant again tonight. Are you, are you Carol are you Carol's assistant tonight? That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah I am. So thank you so much for doing this live today. Everyone has absolutely loved it. So don't forget, you can uh, you can catch up on part one if you look at Monday night's live with Kim when she did part one of making the heels and starting the shoes. And then this is part two today. Just turning the oven off again. It's been a fabulous afternoon. I've yeah. thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you very much. So hopefully we'll see you in the kitchen in the not too near future. It looks like Carol will be dragging me back. <laughs> Very good. That is. I won't need. I won't need any dragging. I do That's love it. I do here, enjoy it. So. We can't wait to have you back in the kitchen again. And Kim, thank you so much. Everyone has had a really lovely week with you. Thank you. I've enjoyed it. It's going to be strange going home tomorrow. But. So Kim's back in the kitchen at four thirty in a bit with me. So <laughs> <laughs> all good things come to an end. <laughs> So we'll all see you again at 4.30 if you want to join us to watch Carol using the ganashing kit or you'll see her again um, at 8 o'clock tonight. Yeah, so now we've got to run around like headless chickens tidying the up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us, it's been a pleasure. Bye-bye.